Hello, I hope you're doing great this week. If you're new to the Arduino IDE, there's a couple things that might come across as a little peculiar when it comes to saving and opening your sketches. So in this video, what we're going to do is explain the sketchbook folder, and we're going to demystify exactly where sketches get saved and how they get saved. And what this will help you do is know the right place to save the sketches and the right folders to save them in. All right, well, hey, let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is talk about the default location that a new sketch gets saved at. So what I'll do is go ahead and make a couple adjustments here. And then I'm going to save this file. So I go to File, Save. And you know, it saves like any other file you would think on any other kind of program. It opens up, you know, hey, where do you want to store this file? So the normal default location is in the Documents folder and there's a folder named Arduino and inside this Arduino folder is where the file will get saved. Now you'll notice in my folder I don't have any other files in here except a folder called Libraries and this is the standard folder that will come with your Arduino IDE installation and this is where files for any libraries that you add to the IDE this is where those will go. Now just for the purposes of this tutorial I've moved out all my other sketches. But let's go ahead and save this inside this Arduino folder here. So you can't have spaces in the name of a sketch, so I just have the underscore here. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And that location that I just saved it at, that Arduino folder, is called the sketchbook. So we can get to the sketchbook by going to File, Sketchbook. And then you'll see here we have Sketch Awesome. To set the default location of that sketchbook, you just go to Arduino, Preferences. And then this is going to show you the file location of that sketchbook. So mine, like we just showed, was under Documents Arduino. So you can browse here and you can select any location that you would like your sketches to be stored. So what I want to do now is bring to attention the fact that all files, all Arduino sketches that is, must exist inside an enclosing folder. And that folder is called a sketch folder. So what am I talking about? Well let's go to my file directory system here. So I'll go to the, my finder, is what it's called on Macintosh. And so here I am in Documents, I'm in Arduino. So again, this is the folder that's specified for the sketchbook location. So this Arduino folder is my sketchbook. And notice that here is a folder with the name Sketch Awesome. And then inside is the actual file. So I didn't create this folder. The Arduino IDE creates this folder for me. And the important part is, that the name of this file is the exact same as the folder. Okay, so far we've talked about the default location where your files get saved, how to change that default, and we've said how important it is that this file on the inside, the name matches the enclosing folder. So why is this important? Well, this is where you can kind of run, run into trouble. This is what will happen from time to time. Let's say you download a Arduino file from the internet and those are .ino. They used to be PDE, and PDE files will actually open up in, in Arduino IDE. But anyway, let's say you download a Arduino file from the internet, and you save it in your downloads folder, for example. So I just downloaded a, one here, so I'll go ahead and open this up in my file system here. I can look through here and I can see, okay, here's this sketch that I downloaded. Now if I double click it, I get an error. And it says, well, it's not so much an error, it's an indication, and it says, the file downloaded sketch.ino needs to be inside a sketch folder named download sketch. Create this folder, move the file, and continue. So if I say OK, well, first off, if I say cancel, the sketch won't open. But if I say OK, it opens the, the downloaded file. So OK, Arduino sketch from the internet, that makes me happy. But if I go to, so let's say I make some changes in here. And you know, I go to file and I save this. If I then close this, and I want to get to that downloaded Arduino sketch again, I'll, you know, I can go up to File Sketchbook, but you'll notice it's not up here. And the reason it's not up here is because what the Arduino IDE does is it actually saves that sketch. It creates a folder, a sketch folder, and it creates that folder in the directory where you opened that Arduino sketch. Okay, so what am I talking about? Well, let's go to the, my Downloads folder again. 
and I'll open this. So now we can see in my downloads folder, I have a new, it created a new folder. So downloaded sketch. So now behind the scenes, your Arduino IDE created a folder, that enclosing folder, and it put downloaded sketch.eno inside of it. So if I want to work on this and be able to get to it from the Arduino IDE in my sketchbook, ideally I need to move this file. So that's what I'll go ahead and do. So now I've moved it from that location where I downloaded it. I've moved it to my sketchbook folder, which is named Arduino. And we can see it's right here, downloaded sketch, and there's my file. Now if I close my Arduino IDE, and I open it back up, and now if I go to File, Sketchbook, we'll see that the downloaded sketch now shows up in the sketchbook. So this sketchbook is really just pointing to the folder, that Arduino folder, that lives in uh, the Documents folder. We can open that up, and here we are happy. So if you ever get that pop-up about, hey, we're going to move this file, we're going to create a folder and move the file, just think about the location where it's going to create that folder. You might just want to move that .ino file directly to the Arduino folder, make a folder for it, and uh, that way you don't have to go through that pop-up stuff. Okay, so there's one more instance I want to talk about with the sketch folders, and that's if you decide to create a new tab. So over here in this drop-down, we can create a new tab and give it a name. You can see it creates a new tab on the right to the right of the original one. Now, you can use these new tabs to organize your code. For example, if you're adding user-defined functions, you can add those to the right here. So I'll just go ahead and add something. And now I'll go ahead and save it. Okay, now, so what we have are essentially two separate files, but they're organized with one another. So if I go over to my finder, you'll notice that there's not a new folder. It's still, there's still the downloaded sketch, but now there's two .ino files in here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is close that downloaded sketch folder. So both of the tabs close. And now what I'll do is I'm going to double click on downloaded sketch.eno. Okay, so now when I double click on it, you can see both tabs open up with that downloaded sketch. All right, let me close this again. Now what I'm going to do is click on this new tab.eno. All right, look at that. Both of them open up again. This is interesting because before we said that the file inside of the folder has to be the same name as the sketch folder. But here we see we have one of the files saved the same name, but the other one's not the same name. So if you're adding tabs, those tabs are slaves to that master one. So they'll get opened with that master one. There's some type of meta, meta information there that's being stored, and it knows to group these together. Now, if we change this name and we close that, so now none of these files match the encompassing folder. So now what I want to do is close the Arduino IDE. We'll quit the Arduino IDE. I'm going to reopen it. And now if I go to File, Sketchbook, we don't even see the downloaded sketch folder anymore. And let me, so let me open up my directory again. So here's the Arduino folder. There's downloaded sketch. But since those names don't match, the Arduino IDE doesn't even recognize it in your sketchbook anymore. It's, it's like the Arduino IDE disowned it. I mean, it's pretty mean. Well, anyway, I hope this has cleared up some of your some questions you might have had about, you know, where do these files actually get stored? Where can I designate where I want them to be stored? And what's the deal with this whole enclosing sketch folder deal? So that was it for the video this week. I hope you find it helpful. If you haven't already, you can go to the Open Source Hardware Group website, and we have a 12-part course where you can learn about uh, Arduino, learn about some electronics, and a lot of people have really enjoyed it. So I hope you can go, uh, I hope you go check that out. We also do have a premium course that we offer that teaches you all the ins and outs of Arduino and, and electronics, that type of stuff. You can check that out too. If you like this tutorial, uh, I've got a bunch of other ones. You can feel free to subscribe to the show on YouTube. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful week. Next week, uh, the video, we're going to be talking about five ways to destroy your Arduino. So I look forward to seeing you then. Have a great one. Bye.